morning and welcome to the WWE Media Press Box this morning. My name is Mark O'Brien, I'm half of Bonnie's fan planet, Irish Mass Entertainment, joined with one of the only, Il est vraiment phenomenal, CJ Styles. Is that that song? That's the song last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the best thing about that? I'm fair. How are you today, sir? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you enjoy last night? Oh, it was amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I'm excited to not to be even more amazing. What do you think every time Robert Phenomenal was uttered in the kickoff show? I didn't know what was going on. I, I assumed it was a song, but I didn't know what it was about. Yeah. I heard phenomenal, but then I've come to realize it's more of a celebration, so perfect. It's a mixture of a football and a kind of cultural song. Yes, right? yes. It's almost a comedic song, but anyway. The very first wrestling show I ever saw went live was January 16, 2009 in Dublin. TNA First Impact Tour. Oh. You headlined Kern Angle of the National Stadium. Oh, wow. Not much. Uh, not much of that match in particular. I know that the, 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 when we were over there, I was amazed by the crowd and how crazy and excited they were. Uh, so it was a lot of fun being there. Uh, at the end of the show, you guys all the chant, ole, ole, ole. About oh, 10 minutes. Oh, oh God. Match as well, so it's absolutely amazing. Listen, tonight now, you're facing Twitter Rush for the WWE. Yes. Now. What's that mean to you, particularly given it is on the anniversary of Bullet your anniversary? I wasn't a leader. Nobody, nobody know me. You think I was a leader because I was the champion, but I wasn't a leader because we didn't follow anybody when I was there. That's what made us great. Uh, but you know, going back to, to Cody, I think it's an amazing uh, time for him. Both him and I, for the first time, you're going to get Cody and AJ Styles. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but. When Cody was in WWE, I was on the Indies, and when Cody went to the Indies, I was in WWE. So that's how we missed each other. Uh, yeah, in that 2016 period, it was like a revolving door moment. Though. Right, yes. And you put out really, really brilliant piece of content recently about your kind of recovery training, your different pro pro programming. How have you kind of transformed your body at this kind of stage of your career after so many years of nutrition and turmoil, on top of your kind of cold water therapy and so on? And what have you done to kind of transform your body? I don't care what anybody else says, diet is. 80 to 90 percent of anything you want to do to change your body and it was taking all those little things that i've neglected throughout the years and fixing them and then going the extra step like you said was getting in the cold water and then getting the sauna you know and just trying to be comfortable with being uncomfortable will osprey recently talked about how you and al try to recruit sure of course are there any other talents out there i suppose from an irish perspective or a uk perspective any other uk or irish based talent that you're eye on you think uh, well, it's hard to keep my eye on uh, what you know, I've got to be focused on. It. And, uh, focused on right now would be WWE, and I'm focused on what's going on with my own family. So it's hard to be, you know, focused on what's going out outside of that. Uh, but yeah, of course, I, why would I not want some of the best talent in the world to come to WWE? I mean, I think they're great guys. If, listen, if he were a douchebag, I probably wouldn't have called on him to, uh, you know, see if he wants to come here, see if we can recruit him. But uh, I think he's a great talent, uh, and there's a lot of them out there. It's only a matter of time. Listen, who's that? Frame on phenomena. Love to meet you, sir. Thank you.